How are we doing today, folks? This is Jim, your product expert with Water Pumps Direct, coming to you with another Q&A video for your viewing pleasure. Uh, we're going to talk today a little bit about well pumps and uh, just a little one-on-one kind of crash course on these pumps. What style we, uh, we offer on our website, what's out there, what their specific use is for. Uh, you know, you've got shallow well pumps, which would be, look very similar to the one on the bottom right down here. These can handle a suction lift of up to 20 to 25 feet. Um, the convertible jet pumps uh, will handle a suction lift of up to about 25 to 90 feet, sometimes a little bit more than that. And your deep well pumps are actually submersed in the wall, in the well, in, in the water. Uh, those can, uh, they don't need suction lift because they're in the water, but those can discharge water well over 500 feet. Um, so that's really the main difference on, on these kind of pumps. If we look at the next slide over here, um, how these are installed are a little bit different. Your shallow well pumps have a one pipe or single pipe coming out of the front of the pump. That's always, your, always going to be your suction pipe. That'll go down into the well. You'll have a foot valve at the uh, bottom to terminate that. It'll include a uh, check valve and a screen to, to keep the water clean. Um, and again, as long as your water doesn't drop down below 20 to 25 feet uh, water surface from water surface to the top of the well or to the pump, these pumps will handle that kind of what they call suction head lift, vertical lift from water surface to the pump. Um, this can come out of a well, can come out of a stream, it can come out of a lake, a cistern, whatever water source you have, but you still have to adhere to the same kind of principles for the installation. On the convertible jet pump, if you look over here and a little off to the left, uh, when you're running into a deeper well or a deeper water lift, as we call it, or a lower lift or water at a lower level, I should say, uh, 25 to 90 feet, at that point, you need to run two pipes down on the well. You'll need a minimum four inch well casing for that. Um, and then you take your injector, your Venturi, that gets installed at the bottom, kind of at, at, kind of at the lower point of those two, uh, two pipes. That's got to be well below your lowest drawdown level, how the lowest point that water's going to drop down to. And the end of that, you're going to have a single pipe coming off, again, with a, with a, uh, a foot valve, a uh, check valve and all that to clean, keep the water clean and keep that check valve in place to keep the pump primed. Um, that's a convertible jet pump. On your deep well pump, again, that's going to be installed in your well, um, submerged in the water. Typically, you want to have that at least 10 feet off the bottom. Sometimes it can be much higher than that, depending on how deep the well is and where your water levels are in that well, how they fluctuate. Um, and that'll be coming up through the well to the top, either the top of the well or just below through a pitless adapter, feeding to your home and all that. So, again, that just gives you a brief overview on those three styles of pumps. You want to size those properly based on water levels in the well, your GPM and PSI requirements, what you're doing with those. Again, this can come out of a well, can come out of a stream, lake, whatever. Deep well pumps can be put in a lake. It really depends on your application and what you want to go with. So hopefully it helps you a little bit. If you have any other questions or ideas for Q&A videos, give me a call, shoot me an email, check out our website, waterpumpsdirect.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, have a great day. Take care. Bye.